already, man. Good deal. Good yeah, deal. so, so um, this is Dave again from Tiki Bar, and uh, we're here at Burns Tobacconist today with Jonathan Drew, Drew Estate Cigars, and um, I just got back from Nicaragua and uh, the Cigar Safari, and on the trip we got to try uh, a, and a, not a final blend, I believe, of the, uh, the new uh, uh, My Uzi Weighs a Ton. Uh, Kentucky Fire Cured. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I get the name right. Don't actually, want to say fried actually, anything anywhere in there. Right, so. no, no, no chicken. But actually, no chicken. it's not in the My Uzi Weighs a Ton line. Okay. What I it is, it was. It was. Here's okay. what I kind of did. Okay. This might be a little confusing, so pay attention. Here's what we did, or what I did, anyway. That line is the only line, uh -huh. the Uzi brand, Mua, yes. where nobody bothers me. Okay. See, it's made at Hoya. Mm -hmm. It's our brand, so Hoya makes it for us, and okay. then I take the product and we distribute it throughout the United States. Okay. So this is not like the regular Drew Estate brand, whether it's Liga Privada, the Herrera Esteli, Undercrown. This is its own little thing, and this was like a, 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 a steam valve for me. Okay. Because as the guys who you got to spend more time with in Nicaragua, Nicholas Melillo, who's the head of the factory, mm -hmm. with no exception. He's uh, the head guy. He's an amazing guy. He's the head guy. He's How old our, is he? Nicholas is about 35, 36 years old. I didn't even think he was that old. We'll amazing come back to that after though. because that's an yeah. important thing about about talking about Nicholas for a minute. But Nicholas Melillo, and then you have, you know, Willie Herrera, who's being bred at the factory to, to yeah. be in a bigger position at the factory, not just his own brand. And then, you know, Steve, obviously. So for me... I've always been a real team player, mm -hmm. and the company, each of our brands are very important, and each of our brands are very structured. Sure. And people think, oh, Drew Estate, the wild guys, this and that, you know, at Drew Estate. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so at My Uzi Weighs a Ton, when that line came out, that was basically me being allowed to just do whatever I want to do. Yeah. And nobody complaining about it. It was kind of like everybody took it as a joke. But I said to these guys, it's not going to be a joke because the yeah. blend is good, the concept is strong, and it's a it's a fun line, and the guy, people are getting a real straightforward stick. It's not meant to be one of these super complicated uh, small ring gauge Lancero sticks that we have products for like for that, like you know the Herrera Esteli, the Jose Blanco, sure. uh, uh, even Liga L forties. A number of our products satisfy those kind of guys. But the uh, My Uzi weighs a ton original core line was the sixty ring gauge you know concept. Sure. Then, later on, we did the bait fish, we did the plus 11. Right. So now, as we start to take the Muat brand to the next level, mm -hmm. My Uzi Weighs a Ton is going to stay as that first core brand. That will okay. be called the My Uzi Weighs a Ton. Right. But as you'll see on the packaging for the Kentucky Fire Cured, that doesn't say nowhere on it, My Uzi Weighs a Ton. It says Muat. So the way you think of a name like Xerox, which obviously we're not, we're not any big company like Xerox, <laughs> we're going to brand that product Muat. Underneath Muat, you'll have the core line, the My Uzi Weighs a Ton. Then you'll have the Kentucky Fire Cured. And in 2014 will be the third and final piece of the trilogy. So Muat as a brand will have three pieces to it. The My Uzi Weighs a Ton, that kind of urban, 60 ring gauge, the whole thing with the My Uzi Weighs a Ton feel that we did, which has been very successful, tremendously successful. But it was surprising. It, it never was meant to be. It was supposed yeah. to be for 50 or 60 friends of mine. Okay. And it really popped for us. So it's been cool. I'm not complaining. Good. Kentucky Fire Cured is a whole different world. Yeah. The Kentucky Fire Cured will not be part of Uzi in any way, shape, or form. It's part of Muat, which is its own thing now. Okay. And that product for us is really fits in the culture of Drew Estate. Now, a lot, you know, you guys who've been newer to the industry, let's say the last five years. You got to think back, go a little bit further back, 10 years, 15 years ago, when Drew Estate came on board, that time was very conservative time in the industry. Sure. You had Carlito, you had Fuente, you had Ashton, you had Torano, you had, you know, Padron. You had a lot of these wonderful companies, but it was a very conservative, very traditional, very, very traditional business. When Drew Estate came on, we came on with the ethos, which you guys know was a rebirth of cigars. Yeah. And as we came on with rebirth of cigars, people, they at first, they were like, you know, this company is very unique. This company is very different. They'd come to our trade show to see the way we were, the way we set up things. We were a very customer-oriented company, Absolutely. and we were very face-to-face. -face. We never grew our company with a lot of, like, tremendous cigar aficionado ads and stuff and, and dollars spent there. We never got really high ratings and stuff. We, we grew our company by one stick at a time, cutting and lighting. Yeah. Yeah. What 
Kentucky Fire Cure does, it falls in line with the ethos of Drew Estate. Yeah. This Kentucky Fire Cure tobacco, this is some special shit. Kentucky Fire Cured is tobacco that's grown historically for two, over 200 years in countries to produce tobacco for wet snus, you know, wet snuff, which you would think of a true chewing tobacco in, in Kentucky, or dry sn uh, snuff, which you would see out in Virginia. Additionally, they've been growing it out in Italy for way over 200 years, and they're growing it in other countries as well. Brazil. With Italian seeds. Okay. Okay, so what we, our objective two and a half years ago, my objective to the company was, look, we're going to create this product called Kentucky Fire Cured, and we're going to use Kentucky Fire Cured tobacco to blend this into an ultra premium slash premium cigar. Where when you think about how Kentucky Fire Cured has been used in a cigar before, you think about things that might have been in Europe or whatever, been, or in Italy, that have been more mass market product. Okay. So when you take Kentucky Fire Cured, what, it is, what that product is, you know, the basis behind it, the way you would think of, you know, acid is infused, or tobacco special coffee infused, or Liga Privada, a brand that was blended for the Hefe at the time, or when you think about um, Undercrown, you think about a product that was rolled, blended by the rollers on the production floor because they couldn't get uh, enough Liga to smoke for those guys on the production floor. Each of our brands, the message is clear. Yeah. Even our company, the message is clear. And with Kentucky Fire Cured, the, the message is very, very, very clear. It's fire cured tobacco. What does that mean? It's like if you're going to go and you're going to smoke a steak in your backyard, you're going to smoke it in a smoker. And you're going to give that to, that that to, that steak that smoky, rich taste that you know you taste it and you know what it is. Yeah. It's fire cured. It's, it's got that taste to it. When we fire cure tobacco, whether it's in Kentucky, whether it's in Virginia, whether it's in Italy, or whether it's in Brazil, that tobacco is up in the barns in these sticks called cujos. And what you're doing is at the bar, at the base of the tobacco barn, you're 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 um, you're cooking hickory oak or maple and as those woods get lit on fire and create the smoke that smoke travels up into the air and as that smoke hits the tobacco it brings a certain um, I wouldn't call it a flavor at all but I would call it a non-characterizing flavor but it has that smoky taste to it a comparable flavor could be a peaty taste if you drink if you take a drink a peaty scotch when you're drinking on a peaty scotch and you taste that taste and that smell, oh, yeah. that's that smell that you're going to kind of kind of get from that Kentucky Fire Cured. Or another way to think about it could be like a really smoky taste. So the taste from it is very unique. And when on our trip, I remember speaking to some of the guys, being like, you know, how do you like that blend? You guys were smoking the 15. Yeah. And that's the one we're going to go with. Okay. So that's what's the final? The finished blend right awesome. there. So I got one in my bag for you. So the so Kentucky Fire Cured is that smoky, peaty, fire cured taste. And when you smoke it and people smoke it around you, what are you smoking? That's yeah. that hickory. And it's a very, very powerful, unique taste, which is a symbol. Again, you know, the people who are gonna enjoy that cigar, it's gonna be a freak of nature situation. <laughs> You're gonna have guys who are real strong <laughs> smokers who are gonna say, I like it for change of pace. Yeah. You're gonna have the guys who are newer smokers who will gravitate to it, and then you're gonna have what I call golf smokers. These are the guys who smoke one cigar yeah. a week, two cigars a month, or four cigars a month. Yeah. And those guys, they're gonna love it because they're looking for a lot of taste without a super strong. That's true, yeah. That's but don't kid good. yourself either. You know, that Kentucky Fire Cured has got a lot of nicotine. Yeah, I, I noticed that it, 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 it packs a punch. It packs, so. it but packs the flavor, a big one. The flavor is just, I mean, yeah. like I said, I've told people that have asked, I said, you know, I can't, I can't tell you too much about it. I can't, I can't publish a review yet. Um, but what I can tell you is, it's not like anything you've ever had, that's and true. and it's you, you know, it's the most unique thing that's going to hit the cigar store this year, last year, next year, whatever. A couple yeah. of other dudes have blended with some tobacco, uh, dark cured tobacco oh. too. All right, we're good. So when, but when it comes to the. Um, when it comes to what we did with the dark, with the fire cured, with the Kentucky, that whole brand is built around the fire cured. It's yeah. meant to be not like a touch of fire cured. Yeah. It's like overwhelmingly fire cured. Okay. You know, it's big. Yeah. Does, right. Does. All right. Good. So hey, what else? Wait, 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 what else? That's it. Let's 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 call it a day, man. We're losing the light. You got to get back to your adoring fans in there. All right. Well, hey, Make everybody. His, they're, they're like they're they're going to be at the table and they're going to be like, oh, where is John? I was going to sing to you guys, but here's the thing: is that um, you could hit me you on my, my Instagram. Way? Yeah, oh, do it my way. Uh, you could hit me on the Instagram at Jonathan Drew One. 
on the Facebook at Jonathan Drew 2. So that's Jonathan and Drew 2 all in one shot. Or you can do the Jonathan Drew page or the Drew Estate page. Or you could do the Twitter, which I really don't respond that much to. I know you're a huge Twitter guy. Yeah. But you can only do so much. You know, so mostly I'm uh, on that Instagram and on that Facebook. You. And then of course at Drew Nika at Yahoo.com. I always like to stay in access to everybody. You guys know me, I'm a bit of a goofball and stuff, but I take my business seriously and I take my customer service. One last thing, and this is it. You can never hope to be a super premium cigar company without offering premium customer service. Yeah. Drew Estate we're not a super premium cigar company. We're a premium cigar company. Okay. But we offer super premium customer service. That's what I believe yep. in. So everybody's accessible for me at drewnika at yahoo.com. You can hit me about anything, product problems, damaged cigars, cigars you don't like that you want me to trade out for you, whatever it is. I'm always accessible to everybody because, you know, we started from the bottom and we got to the halfway point right now and we're doing good. And we don't forget where we come from, and that's like one person at a time, one step at a time. So hit us anytime, and thank you so much for this interview, dude. Thank you. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, nicely thank done, Thank you for brother. being here, man. Hope you're enjoying Ted My Tendiga. pleasure. Yeah, Burns Tobacco is right here, baby. Here yeah. we go. All right. All right. Out. Good deal. All righty. Nice.